hello ladies welcome to my channel um yeah today we are going to talk about seduction seduction uh for the single ladies i will teach you how to seduce the gentleman and for the married ladies i am going to teach you how to bring out the sparkle in your marriage life you have to bring back that sparkle so uh, thank you for those who have been watching my video and those uh, uh, who, who thumbs up and make comments and all those thank you very very much um, I'm not taking it for granted and um, I thank you for appreciate all the moment and all the things those who call me because they are missing my video they want me to do again I was sick so I couldn't call I couldn't do anything thank you very much so for those who doesn't know me my name is Queen. I'm a founder of Queen Chick and um, I, I'm working in the high street store as a beauty consultant and image consultant. I have my master's in cosmetics and whereby I advise you in cosmetics, any type, fragrance, makeups and uh, I'm an image consultant as well whereby I can change your look or tell you what you can put on your body. I've been dealing on this more than 25 years now. So this channel, I just make it simple. I don't want to be speaking grammar and all those things. I just want to be me. And for if you can learn something and make it use, useful, it's very good. I don't want it to be suitcase. It's true. We are talking about being an elegant lady and so on. But I want to be me and I want you to be you. You can be elegant and be simple. You don't need to blow all the latest grammar that's coming. I speak French and English perfectly and writing. Read, uh, reading and writing as well but then i just like it simple so you know a, a a woman to take to get to seduce a man and put the man to your bed take the man to the latest restaurant eat whatever is very simple but to seduce any gentleman that's where the problem comes you need a powerful act of seduction you have to use it properly i mean quality personalities, co uh, confidence, these are the things, you have to be real, these are the things you need to seduce a gentleman, so when you are going to do all those things, uh, if you want to play a game whereby you want to be superficial, you know, uh, pretending, um, playing like a slot, you know, or a porno stars, you are wasting your time, those things put them off. But you, as an uh, elegant lady, that have been following this program since the step one, you know how to seduce the gentleman. You have the ability to seduce the gentleman naturally. Because now you have confidence in yourself and you love yourself. So it's normal that someone to love you back. So imagine yourself whereby you are in a garden or in a park in a restaurant in a bar in nightclub you just see a guy that you like you just pose draw your back your shoulder you know baby draw your shoulder backwards chest front pose so when you pose you open your eyes you're looking not to be start doing him like this you don't do anything you start watching him and when his eyes contact because the first thing is eye contact second is smile third is body language so when the eye to, uh, contacts to you he will just give you eye and then you smile so when he continues looking at you you say oh this guy is serious so you just stand up and just do the cat walking remember what i teach you the elegant way of walking you will just go to the bar ask for water or anything and make sure that what you are wearing there's not too much of skin showing so you just have the water and come back then he will just if he like what he's seeing he will just send tell the bar people to offer you a drink and when you put the drink just take it in a glass and cheer to him look at him and cheer it up so it's a kind of telling him you are open for him to come in so he can just come and talk to you please don't follow him go don't go with him eh? no you still have a work to do so just speak to him nicely don't forget that the first impressions matters but you have to know that men they are hunters we we are the antelope 
when you go when a hunter go to the forest and he see an antelope that start dancing come and catch me come and catch me the, uh, the hunter will not catch you will say this antelope is crazy i will not take this one home because i don't want my people to seek when they eat the meat so you go and look for those one that is hiding so you have to respect yourself it's very important so that is it my sister so um just be happy and move on just give him four weeks or what, three months why not so before anything you don't need to start eating his money like no man business just take it easy slowly yeah. so my sisters my sisters the married sisters so i'm just going to tell you ladies after marriage you don't know the sense of seduction anymore you have children and so on i want to tell you remember the last during those days you have not have children that your husband is still what turns your husband up you have to bring those things that turns him up those times that's what you have to bring out and uh, uh, not only that in the evening when you take a shower just dress buy a silky material that you put on take care of yourself we are long hair if it's cornrow let it have a tail a long tail men they like long hair anything long i don't know why but they like it so we too we like it anyway so just put on something and um seki uh, we uh, night wears is very very important all women should have it standing mirror seki night wear long hair these are the things all women and nice cologne buy nice cologne because cologne is not perfume it's not body spray it's not deodorant cologne is a cologne that you use in the evening just after shower to put on your body and then you sit by your side by his side if you're working 60 hours try to work 45 hours use that 15 hours to work on your couple life because without working you cannot get anything you must work to reap my sister so then you just sit by his side and he's watching football you you are watching him you don't care so you are he's the one playing you don't care so what well, all of a sudden just touch him on a spectate touch like that that's all his hairs will raise up all the hairs in his body will raise up because he's smelling all those your yeah, other and your silky wears and your sick body you know some of our sister they can exaggerate when you are feeling cold that you wrap yourself like when mommy egyptian mommy only your two eyes will be coming out the man when he want to touch you you see he said that before i would remove all this clothes I beg, I cannot. The man will say, I'm going to have a drink. I'm going to the bar. He go to the bar to drink and he will start chasing those small, small girls. Because you, your angel that is home, you wrap yourself like a mummy. The, the little tips I'm going to tell you, when you want to take a shower, just put in your uh, body cream, put um, uh, glycerin inside or uh, amount oil because when there's a lot of oil you use it in your body it will make you not to feel cold immediately you come back from work just take your shower immediately and put those things and um, it makes you not to feel cold then you can dress simple in the house those women that used to move around naked in the house those things is not good when you show the man everything finished what would the man want to gain he will just disgust it's like somebody eating rice every day you will not when the men they're saying they're eating a bono soup every day all these things you know you can just make your bono soup to be today a go see tomorrow vegetable you can change it so this is the way you have to cover yourself and open yourself and don't use uh, darkness to 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 sleep with your husband just put on the light on during the time so that two of you will have that eye contact the eye contact is very important and make your bed to be very nice don't allow your bed to be like where they are slaughtering a cow you know buy four four uh, four um big big uh pillow put the big big pillow and the normal pillow you people used to sleep in the morning make it to be an adult room you know not to have uh, all this bed sheet that is full of flowers everywhere just simple you can have flower but no more not to exaggerate so and you know that you, i know that you sisters you used to say i'm tired you are not tired you it's true that we're getting we get married very young at the age of 16 and all those you have half children and those things and just watch adult film with him or without him and the things you like tell him this is what you like he have to do it for you and you you do it for him so you people have to enjoy it together 
and don't tell me you are tired because if you are tired other people are going to take your husband and those people they are not tired they will even make your husband to feel tired then he come back tired really tired so this is not what you want you have to satisfy him and satisfy yourself so that two of you will be working and try to give give him eye contact if he's going out just hold him as if you want to uh you know hold the shade and all those just to draw his attention and kiss him hug him often and in the morning ask him if he had a good night if he sleep well you know those are and the, the little things when he's at work send him text even though you are at work send him text and tell him if you are good if you're a good boy i will you know surprise you tonight so and be creative so try to get all the informations online everywhere some of us go and learn how to do lap dancing that you do for your husband so not because you are married that everything is finished you have to be doing this even though you are 60 70 years so you can see you always put on the fire you are not as his mother you are his wife so you have to take care of yourself and not to wear those long gowns that will make you to feel kuhuku in the corner and everywhere to play mama you play mama to your children but your husband you are his girlfriend you are his wife you have to play sexy so these are the things that i will advise you so take good care of yourself and try to make yourself to be happy have sex everywhere in the room everywhere in the room in the sitting room kitchen toilet bedroom everywhere with when the children is not around all those things is good for the marriage and move out and try to know how to massage and all those okay take care and, and enjoy your couple life